Hi everybody, we're back on the boat and it's the three of us this time. Um, Melissa's feeling a lot better. Jack's tonsillitis is better. Hi. There he is, he's downstairs. <laughs> And, uh, and we're cracking on with some boat work. We've only got a couple of days here to this week. Yeah, because we're off on our honeymoon next week. We're off on our honeymoon the day after tomorrow. Or is it the day after tomorrow? Yeah, we're driving out the day after tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and next week, you'll see where it is we're going and what we're doing on that, for those of you that are interested in the vloggy side of things. Yeah. But... So we've got a couple of days and we're sort of targeting some priority jobs. Yeah, so we've got a... Um... We're focusing now, um, before the weather's really bad, on trying to get the cockpit yeah. painted. So we want to get the cockpit painted, or, or the finish the, the painting on the cockpit on the outside, which is why I was kind of prepping what ideas I've got for the wooden seat slats. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to take those off so we can finish painting the cockpit. And we also want to paint out the inside. Now that the welding has all been done by Danny the welder and bits of by Nigel, yeah. that's all finished. So we can, I think I've got one more little tiny bit to do in, but we can finish painting out the aft cabin and that means that we can we can start seriously insulating and panelling out the interior. Yeah, so we need to seal that off basically, yeah. obviously, because now, now the weather's not so great, we can't leave windows and doors necessarily open and we don't want to be sort of confined to not being able to do a lot when it's raining. So we've got to seal the back end off so we can do yeah. dirty, horrible work back there although there's not much left to do a bit of sanding and then we can paint and then it means yeah. that we're ready to yeah so what you're going to see in this episode is um, a few jobs like that we're going to prepare the aft end of the boat seal it off for working below there because that creates a lot of dust and as melissa said we can't leave hatches open the weather's just not good enough so we've got to seal that off uh, we've got to measure the boat um, take lots and lots of measurements because we're talking to a paint company who you'll get to hear about in due course who are going to be supplying us with a lot of paint to finish the top size, the final coats and the preparation is going to be superb. So we've got to give them some pretty exacting measurements of the square footage or square metres of the boat yeah. and, um, and some bits and pieces of wiring which we can do in and around. We can do indoors because it's bad weather. I think that's pretty much it. I will apologise in advance if I look miserable. I'm not. I've just had braces fitted and I'm struggling with them. <laughs> so if you hear Melissa speaking less than normal, it's not just because of my bullish tendency to talk over the top yeah. of her. It is because she's struggling to talk. So in preparation for taking measurements, just to work out the areas, I've divided all of the, the areas on the boat up like this. A is our top sides, B is below the waterline, C is the keel, D is the... Um, the uh, rudder and so on and we're going to go outside uh, with a tape measure and just take some fr reasonably accurate measurements of all of those different parts of the boat so that we can get a good idea of how many square feet or square meters of area of paint that we need. Yeah I think because Melody's not a standard boat so you can't just go on sailboat data and find that out. No, no not at all. <laughs> So we're not going to be doing the cockpit painting today because it's just too many, too showery, there's too much chance of it raining on it. There will be some dry days between now and Christmas and hopefully. And the, the paint that we use as a primer, as you know, is the Jotun, uh, Jotun 87 Winter Grade, which is really designed for low temperatures and humid conditions. But it's not designed for painting in the rain. No, it's designed to set up to minus five degrees and or down to minus five degrees and uh, and humid conditions kettle's just boiled um so yeah we'll be using that but not today in the actual rain so but that's fine we've got plenty else to do uh, as you can see i've hung this bit of tarp up last night just to kind of keep the draft at, down because we're sleeping on the boat uh, so i'm going to build a frame here and i'm going to put one of those kind of builders polythene doors that you can get through um, in there just so that when we are working in the aft cabins it keeps the dust from coming into the galley. Okay. 
case you're wondering, yeah, I'm using uh, marine grade hardwood store pine, uh, marine grade uh, cheapest chips, uh, plated screws, and marine grade nasty, horrible angles. They're not marine grade, nothing's marine grade, don't be daft. This has only got to stay up over winter while we're doing the dusty work in the back cabin, so don't panic. I bought one of these, which is called a dust guard. It's a dust protection door from Screwfix. And I'm uh, just gonna see how how it goes up and if I need to, oh, comes with tape and everything, uh, how, how it actually works. But basically, you take that up around your door frame that I've just made, and then you can, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is, no. I didn't measure it. Melissa's just said, did you measure that? And no, I didn't measure it. I'm just, I'm just, it's just, my genius knows no bounds. Um, I might put a piece across the top though. The only problem we're gonna have is that it's way, way too long. Shorten it at the top or shorten it at the bottom? Shorten it as much as you can. It's Nigel Tomlinson. We're going to be talking stainless. Back in a bit. We've now got a proper dust barrier between the galley, the pilot house, the, the, the rest of the boat, and the aft end. I'm sure bits of dust will get through it, but it's gonna make a huge difference. And, um, and it's also gonna make the boat a lot warmer while we paint out the back end, do the insulation, and then we can open it back up once the insulation's done. That's uh, job number one ticked off. I say job number one's done, it's actually job number two, isn't it? Because we were doing the measuring. Let me show you how that's gone and how I've gone about it. So. What I've done, we've went outside and took lots of measurements of the boat from the top sides and everything. And we've got, I've done this every metre. So the boat is 10.4 metres long at the waterline, which is 34 feet, which is a decent waterline length. And you can see I've then measured down from the waterline to the, uh, to the very pr uh, bow of the boat, all the way down, all the way down, and taken those measurements every metre. Uh, and then I've done the same with the top sides and the sides of the pilot house. So I've then got a whole list of, a whole load of diagrams here that I can use to input into, um, uh, into this piece of software that's on the screen now. Um, I'll put it, I don't know, up here somewhere, uh, which I can work out the areas myself, but check this out, <laughs> really cool little piece of software doesn't have to be mega precise. What it's giving us is a, a reasonably good idea of how many square meters each section of the boat is so that we can see what paint we need for the top sides, what paint we need for below the waterline, what paint we need for the decks, the coach roof and so on. Um, so which will go on top of and be compatible with the Jotun 87 paint that we've already put on. So my next job uh, is to um, start clearing out this back end and give it a good clean and look at what areas I can prep and get some paint on. I don't think I'm gonna get the whole back end painted out today, so that's a big, big job. It's a huge area. Uh, so, but it's still mid-morning, and what I really fancy is a cup of tea and some breakfast, so I'm gonna do that first. And do be aware, as I've said before, that we are, um, we're not a boat building channel, although it may appear so. We are, definitely not making this channel to teach people how to build or fix boats. Uh, it's kind of a byproduct of the channel, but we're a what happened channel. What, what we're trying to do with Sailing Melody is document our journey of how we got the boat, fixed the boat, and eventually launched the boat and sailed the boat around the world. So uh, you may not always see flat out boat work on this channel, because that's not what we're trying to do. It ends up being that by default. But uh, for example, last week was probably our worst performing video for ages. Uh, and it was the, the video that we went to the Southampton Boat Show. 
And I think that speaks volumes because a lot of our viewers, probably you, watch our channel uh, to see boat work. And that's, that's absolutely cool. And that is what we do most of the time. Um, but yeah, not every episode is all about the boat work. Uh, a lot of it is just documenting the process and the journey of getting this boat and getting our family to be liverboards and sailing full time. Hence, lots of cups of tea. Anyway, now that uh, we've got that partition up, I'm gonna go in the aft end and start clearing stuff out so that I can give it a really good clean and start prepping that area for painting. Yeah, and I'm gonna go forward into the forepeak in between doing schoolwork with Jack and clear that um, ready to paint the forepeak bilge, which we've already prepped, um, but we just need to give it a clean before we paint it. Yep, that's it. end of the boat is pretty clean um, we're just giving it a good scrub there's Melissa being a scrubber and um, I know it still looks grubby but it is it's like one of those um, what looks like dirt actually doesn't come off I've cut my finger piece of rusty metal so in a minute anyway uh, we're pretty close to being able to paint that out and um, I'm sure during the painting, when you're kind of really up close and personal, you notice things that you've missed and that's fine. Um, it just means that uh, it's sometimes putting a blank sheet of paper on and a fresh coat of paint enables you to have a bit of a clearer picture. And I remember once when I was spraying a car, well, in fact, I wasn't spraying a car. My mate Mark was spraying a car for me, um, a Mini that we were doing up. And, uh, and I'd... Um, I kind of preempted the prep a little bit by putting a coat of high build filler primer on the on the car, and uh, we, the, the debate that we had at the time was: is it a waste of materials? Because in one sense it is; it's a waste of materials to put a primer on when you've not finished your prep. But for me, my the way my brain works and yours might be different. I find that do as much prep as you can, get it looking as good as you can get a coat of paint on and that coat of paint kind of acts like a clean slate and it enables you to focus your attention on the areas that you that are that it, it, it highlights things that you've got wrong um, so uh, yeah that might be a waste of materials but I find it makes my workflow more efficient yeah and we've, we've tackled like we think we've got all of it yeah and we think we've got all of it we don't think we've missed anything but if we have it's a steel boat we'll be doing repairs from now till kingdom come so it's painting time i'm going to be painting in the back in here melissa's going to be painting the forward bilge which no doubt she'll show you in a minute i'm going to start mixing uh, again we're using the Jotun 87 winter grade which has is copes with less than ideal kind of uh, conditions so that's great um, I've taken the tie clip mic off because, so you probably notice a difference in the audio, but this is the thing we have to do with this boat because I'm not wearing a tie clip mic while I'm painting with epoxy. They're really expensive and it would just get ruined. So uh, let's get mixing some paint, hey?
So I'm just going to take you away from Andy's magical painting and show you something wildly different. Painting. Let me just shine it away from you. Um, so I'm in the four peak. I'm in the four peak painting out the village. So I'm working in here in this dark black hole that hopefully by the time I'm finished should be nice and white. I'm standing here in my underpants, so I've got to be careful where I point this camera now <laughs> because I've taken my overalls off. But let's have a quick look. Oh, let's turn you on. Uh, that's what this light is. Oh, there you go. That's better. Flipping it. That's bright. So um, I've got to be very careful what I do now because I don't want to knock a load of muck in. But let's show you. Or flash your bum. <laughs> or flash my bum. But uh, uh, um, let's show you what the situation looks like. I've not managed to paint absolutely everywhere because that's just impossible. But I've got to everywhere and then in a week's time we can come back when it's dry and get to all the places that I couldn't get. Let's have a look. So that now is the aft end of the boat. And there's it's highlighted the areas that need some more attention, which is exactly what I wanted and hoped. And it's it's made the whole job look a lot more manageable and a lot smaller. Look at that. And if we can get everything under here to that kind of standard, then brilliant. And it also means that when we lift up the lockers and look underneath beds and cupboards in the back here, we can see exactly what's going on. And let's go and have a look at the forepeak where Melissa has been painting the bilges in the forepeak. The boat, yeah, the boat's a complete and utter disaster. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So we've got paint. There's a black patch in the corner where uh, you need to weld from the inside. There is a black patch in the corner apparently where I've got to weld. I know what that is. Yeah. So that's our forward bilge, which will eventually be our big water tank, or one of them. It's got, I've got a bladder to go in there. And um, that's the bit that I've got to weld from the inside. Oh, that's difficult to get to. What a swine. But how cool is that? Really, really pleased. Right, I'm going to clean up, tidy up. And then we'll uh, we'll do a little piece to camera. Put some pants on, some trousers. Pants if you're American, trousers if you're English. And then uh, yeah, everyone was probably thinking, well, what's wrong if you have got pants on? Yeah, I've got because yeah, I'm, it's, I'm, got I'm in my boxer I'm in my jo boxer shorts because I was I didn't have anything on under my overalls because it was too hot. So that's us done for today. Yes, big we achievement. Are done. The front part of the inside of the boat is painted, and the back part and the aft. And it's painted too, which is yes, quite nice. Yes, the front and the back, or the, the front bow and the, and the stern, the bow and the... whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we do know the proper words, honest. Um, so it's all painted out, it's all epoxied, it's all good to go. We'll probably do another coat. Uh, and then we can start insulating and panelling and making aft cabins and uh, preparing places for people to sleep. Yeah. And some storage yeah. and getting all of that stuff done, which is a massive step in the right direction. Yeah. So now we've got a rush home pack our bags and go off on our honeymoon tomorrow yes so uh yeah which we will take you along for we'll a little bit of it. we won't we won't bore you with the entire of our honeymoon pics but you might like to see where we're, we're yeah. going <laughs> so and in the meantime thanks very much for watching um don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed leave us a like yeah, and i just want to say thank you so much to all the people that um good point uh what was I going to say? Contributed to the... Contributed is the word that I can't say with braces. Yeah. <laughs> but 
contributed towards our wedding gift list. It was so kind and so generous yeah, of you. We really amazing. appreciate it. And it's yeah, it's going it's it's gonna go a long way towards our um lithium and solar setup. So that's it that's just is. amazing. So thank you. Thank For you those so of much. you that weren't aware, basically rather than have a wedding gift list, we've got um a link on the Pro yeah, Marine. We website. don't need saucepans and stuff. No. Uh, we're we're moving on to a boat, so we're getting rid of all of our worldly belongings. So we've got a link on the Pro Marine store website where people can put towards our lithium and yeah, solar. and a few of you said, can we get your wedding gift? Yeah. So we, we put the link in and you've just all been so generous. It's so been incredible. Thank you. And um, the link's still there if you want to have a look at it. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time on Sailing Melody. And in the meantime, uh, bye for now. Bye. 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 bye.